video, I want to talk about what to do when your baby just won't stop crying. Unconsolable. Unconsolable. It happened to me recently, and it was a doozy. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. So Henry's been doing this thing lately where he's just really hard to predict. He'll go from zero to 100 super quick, and you gotta be ready. So the tip I'm gonna give you uh, will help you out if this ever happens to you. Keep in mind, Henry's five months old, so if you're not there yet, you'll be prepared. Goodbye, my love. It was two days ago, me and Henry were doing some tummy time and everything was normal. He had eaten about 30 minutes prior to that. Uh, he was freshly changed, burped. There should have been no reason for him to uh, explode like he did. We're sitting there chilling, and all of a sudden, Henry just goes off. Red faced, can't breathe, screaming, crying. I felt so bad for the kid. Immediately, first thing you do is go through, uh, does he need to eat, change diaper, or burp? None of those three applied, so on to the next best thing. So like I've said before, if you notice a change in the pitch of their cry, chances are they're overstimulated. I had the TV on, we were playing with some toys. Maybe he just had enough and he needed to sleep. At this point, it's like disarming. You have to breathe, pay attention to what they really need, and act. Please hold on. It took me a while, but in this case, I took Henry into a quiet, dark room, took off my shirt, took off his pajamas, uh, that way he could cool down because they get really hot when they're screaming like that. And I did um, skin to skin, you know, take it back to day one in the hospital. That makes them most comfortable, skin to skin. I just kind of like rocked him, put his pacifier in. We just laid there for like an hour, um, on off, you know, starting to cry again and stuff like that. But man, like, I could really see how that could be a situation where um, somebody would shake shake the baby, like, why are you crying? And uh, like, it's a uh, coincidence I'm making this video now because Jessica and I were watching an SVU episode the, the other night and it was on um, shaking babies and the dangers of it. And it's so important just to breathe and, uh, and just know that they're, you know, there's a reason that they're crying and you just have to find it. So if you can, if you can find it, then you're golden. Addressing two of the questions you may have right now. Uh, my teardrop tattoo here, that is a war wound from Henry, and it occurred during the incident in question. Um, but, you know, that's just part of it. They're slashing their hands and their nails get so long so quick. Um, second thing, not just a random trip to the airport. I'm here picking up my sister Jenna. She's gonna be with us for a week, and we're really excited to have her. They did a gate change on me. <laughs> I was all set up. Good. All right, Calder, they haven't gotten into the gate yet. Uh, so it's gonna be close, but we'll see if we can, uh, we can do it. If not, it's gonna be a catastrophe. Uh, in conclusion, be patient, hold your breath. Not hold your breath. Be patient, breathe, figure out what the kid needs and then act. If the video helped you at all, subscribe, like the video if you do, comment, and have a good day. I got Jenna. Uh, ended up having to meet her at baggage claim, but that's okay. Anyways, we're getting Chick-fil-A. Have a good night.